I love to have all kinds of data available to me in Home Assistant. I've previously just had a temperature and humidity sensor available for all rooms. This is great for controlling heating, but when Air Gradient got in touch and asked if I wanted to test their sensors, I jumped on. The Air Gradient one is an open source, fully local, and customizable sensor that works out of the box with Home Assistant. It's got temperature, humidity, particulate matter, chemical and NOx, and carbon dioxide sensors. My girlfriend often struggles with headaches, so it's nice to know that the indoor air quality isn't the problem. We can now also automatically turn on fans if the CO2 levels are too high. Installing the device in Home Assistant is really easy. We just need to plug in the supplied USB and use our phone to connect it to Wi-Fi. You could also use this without a Wi-Fi connection if you just want to read the data from the screen or the status LEDs. Once we have the device connected to Wi-Fi, it will automatically show up under Devices in Home Assistant. I just add it to an area, and straight away we can see all the sensor data that it is giving us. We also have some controls that lets us calibrate the CO2 sensor, change the display brightness, I've added this to my movie time scene so that I still have complete darkness when I want to watch a movie. We can choose if we want the LEDs to display the CO2 or the particulate matter status, and we can change between Celsius and Fahrenheit. There's also an option to disable sending the data to Air Gradient, but I choose to keep this enabled because Air Gradient actually keeps statistics about air quality around the world, so I think it's nice to be part of that. So what can we actually do now that we have the device integrated into Home Assistant? The most obvious is to just display the sensors on our dashboard, or maybe set up some alerts if values goes above certain thresholds. If you've got fans or a HVAC system, you could automate them to improve the air quality when needed. I'm still trying to figure out how I can make my HVAC system smart. So for now, I thought it would be nice to just get an overall air quality scale and display that in my dashboard. A scale that just tells me if the air quality is good or bad. I don't really want to fill up my dashboard with lots of graphs and sensors. So I researched a bit and found that there is something called AIQ index, and I found what values my government think is optimal. Then I created a template sensor for Home Assistant that combines all the sensors from the air gradient into one sensor that outputs between 0 and 100. The formula I've used here is by no means scientific, but for me personally, it gives a good indication about our air quality. What I've done is give weight to the different sensors. For example, CO2 and particulate matter is important. So together they influence 50% of the overall score. I also have an alternative template sensor that works slightly differently. I'm not sure yet which one is the best to use. If you want to test these template sensors yourself, you can grab them from the Gumroad link in the description. Don't worry, it's free. Let me know if you know about a formula that is more accurate. It's fun to nerd about this stuff. Then lastly, I've created a card for my dashboard with a scale that visualizes the air quality. The code for this is also on that same link. Here I'm just manipulating the state to show you how the card looks. I'm pretty happy with this. And for now, this is all I need to know if the air that we are breathing is healthy. Air Gradient also has an outdoor sensor called Open Air. The sensors for this is similar to the indoor one, but you can safely place this outside. Integrating this into Home Assistant works exactly the same as the indoor sensor. I'm not really that worried about the air quality in my area, but it's nice to have hard facts. I've also started to use this temperature sensor in my current weather dashboard instead of relying on the weather integration. All in all, I'm really happy with these devices. In my experience, they have a high wife approval factor as well, if that matters to you. Let me know if you can think of any fun automations to create with these sensors, I think this would be really handy for people with ceiling fans, for example. Hope you found this useful. Let me know if you already have one or if you consider getting one of these sensors for yourself. Thanks for watching. Until next time.